Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 11th to the 17th of January 2021. We have a very big week this week, almost tectonic, as the Sun meets with Pluto. So it's really good practice to stay centred, have firm and supporting roots, and a flexible core. Because I feel most of this week we'll be surfing some very big waves that are surging through. But to keep us buoyant, we need to go with the flow and observe from a place of real self-knowing. So we start the week with Mercury moving into Aquarius and immediately meeting with Saturn. There's a lot of truth that's going to come out through this Mercury in Aquarius, which will retrograde at the end of the month. So higher mind, inspiration, the ability to adjust, critical thought, independent thinking, all of these aspects of ourself will be brought forwards. Great changes in perspective are coming. And it's our inner knowing that will keep us clear as mysteries and illusions of the past year start to reveal themselves. So it's piercing beyond the veil, truth coming to light, but our power to adjust and to navigate through those changes. Monday is a good day to rest and recenter, to relax and rejuvenate. As these waves start to power up, just take that moment to be centered, flexible and strong. By Tuesday, Mercury meets with Jupiter in a very honest exchange. As we're under the dark moon, we watch for news to come out of the shadows. 2020 saw the old system crumble, that was Pluto deconstruction. And then Saturn started to build a framework. But now Jupiter is the amplification from the center, a fresh and fair replacement. So as we start this year, this lunar year tomorrow, with the new moon in Capricorn, keep an Aquarian vision in your heart, high frequency as wonderful new opportunities are about to flood in. But we will be seeing the old system crumble as well, so there's no need to be afraid of that. Just know that whatever's meant to come forwards is going to be a lot better than the system that we've been in. Because by Wednesday we have the new moon 23 degrees Capricorn at 4.59 a.m. UK time. So here we really start the lunar aspect of 2021 with our core strength and strong roots. The feeling here that we'll no longer be able to tolerate wasting our valuable energy on projects or situations that don't enrich our soul. So one of the big themes of 2020 was stopping us, get out of the rat race, the hamster wheel, um, just giving our time for money for the sake of financial security. And now many people have realised that they just don't want to go back to that. It was draining, exhausting. And what's the replacement? Well, it has to come from your desire and passion. Put that at the centre of your life and amplify that. Because we're building something here of great worth this year. So once we value our energy, our health improves, our use of time improves, our excitement grows, and we start to make decisions from there. So this new moon says be higher, or rather deeper, self-centred. Got to put ourselves in the centre now. It's the only way to live with a high vision and excitement. And now we can actually apply ourselves. By Thursday, the sun makes an annual connection to Pluto. And this is on the same day that Uranus turns direct. So the sun and Pluto are both very powerful energies, really stepping into our power. And all the planets direct now, so forward motion powered by pure inner gold is what I feel that this day holds. To really have that inner centre, the gold, the passion, excitement, and then the power that we have to reclaim our energy. But if we listen to our soul calling and follow its lead, then that's where we start to build our dreams in 2021. But where do our dreams even come from? So by Friday, I feel in the oasis of the imagination, inspiration is incubated and grown, which in due time 
when acted upon, becomes a reality. So inspiration, we have to receive it. We're not creating it. And then build up the energy and then act upon it. This is really how we manifest our own lives. So on Friday, cherish your creativity and dream big. Then by the weekend, we have Jupiter and Uranus in a square, challenging position. And squares are always good because we've got two different sides that aren't seeing eye to eye, but we can find the key to that challenge. I feel here with Jupiter, sovereignty, and Uranus, individuality, then the key here is that external governance is actually the servant of the people, not the master. So we're reclaiming our inalienable rights as free and natural beings. And this is part, like I say, of the old system falling and the new and fair Aquarian system coming in. We cannot be looking outside of ourselves for sovereignty. It has to come from within. We have to really accept our independence, our unique vibrational signature and contribution, and live every moment from that place. So very liberating energies there for the weekend to round off this rather epic week. If you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available zoehind7 at gmail.com for readings, coaching and tuition. And I post at AstroZo on Facebook, at zoehind7 on Instagram. And these videos are on Zoe Astro YouTube. I've also published the first in our series with myself and Julia Melville, Transcending the Negative Mind. And our podcast for the month of Capricorn is up on a playlist on my YouTube as well. So this is a series of coaching tips given the astrological energies of that month and what we can do each month to transcend the negative mind and to become more heart-centered, empowered beings. So please do go and check that out. The next one will be aligned to Aquarian energies, so each one's going to be very, very different. So big week, rest up, stay fluid, surf the waves, sun meeting Pluto, Uranus turning direct, new moon in Capricorn, some very forward energy coming by the end of the week, but only from the centre outwards. We're no longer leaning, dependent on the external. And we'll see that reflected on the outside as well as feel it supporting us on the inside. So wishing you a wonderful week. Those are the horoscopes for this week and I'll see you next week.